hello guys welcome back from this part we are going to implement the minimized player in our main activity to control the music from the main activity so first of all we are going to inside our activity main layout and here we will have to first change this layout height to wrap content because we are going to add a frame layout after this view pager means at the bottom of this view pager and also we will have to first change this root layout means this linear layout to the relative layout so just go to the root layout of this activity main xml file and here just change this to relative layout and now you can see the view pager is gone to the top but we have to align it to the bottom of the tab layout so just write layout below tab layout the id that we have given already this id tab layout and now this is at the bottom of the tab layout so now we can close this and after this we are going to add a frame layout which is having a width and height of match parent and drive content respectively and align parent bottom true means it will be aligned at the bottom of the relative layout means the root layout here you can see this but it is having a wrap content and a, it is not showing so i'm going to give it an id frag bottom player and now close this here you can see this the frame layout and also in view pager we are going to align bottom to the id we will give an id for the frag bottom player now the view pager is aligned to the top of the frame layout so now i'm going inside our main activity and here we will have to create instance of the frame layout that is this frame layout so just write here frame layout and then create instance of this with some variable name let's say frag bottom player and then go to the on create method and here we will have to initialize it so just write frag bottom player or we can remove this also means we are not going to create the instance we will see it later in the video tutorials so now i am going to the java package and here going to create a new fragment that is the blank fragment empty fragment and here going to rename it as let's say now playing bottom fragment now playing fragment or you can add it something more bottom then finish and it will be synced successfully so wait and now you can see this it is synced successfully so remove this and also you have to remove these things just leave this constructor and also remove this and also these codes and then on create code and also re leave this on create view method and everything inside this on create method on create view method now inside our xml file i am going to remove this and it will be wrap content and here we will have to create a relative layout match parent and wrap content height then i'm going to give it an id and that id let's say something about card and then bottom player and now background i'm going to give it so primary color primary dark and then we can close this and before that i'm going to give it a padding of 5 dp and then close this and inside this relative layout we will be going to add an image view for this means we are going to show the album art for the song that is playing currently so the width and height as 60 dp and then source of this image view let's say the image that we have added in our drive folder that is bb doc and then after this we are going to give it an id for this so album art for this bottom fragment so bottom album art then 
the scale type will be center crop it will crop to the center now close this after this also create an image view for the skip next and play pause button so 30 dp 30 dp and going to give it an id for this skip next bottom and now we will be adding the source for this image view that is i see skip next and then parent end to true now you can see the icon at the end of this layout and also center vertical to true then margin end let's say 10 dp and now it is visible correctly so now we can close this image view so now you will have to add a play pause button and that will be floating action button so just write floating and then tap enter width and height will be wrap content both are same and then we will have to add source attribute for this so just write play i see play circle that we have the drawable vector asset then to start of the id that is we will give the id for skip next and it will be aligned to start of the skip next button and also i'm going to give it a margin end of let's say 10 dp then fab size i'm going to give it my mini so now it will be very good size center vertical to true and in the end we can give it an id for this so play pause button mini player and now close this so we have designed our mini player and also we have to add some text view for this to show the song name and artist name so adding a text view which is having width and height of rap content and id i'm going to give it a song name mini player and then let's say add a text to so over here then we will change it dynamically when we will be playing the song and the text color as white has fff then the margin top of 5 dp and also we can add something else let's say margin start margin start 15 dp and to start of the id we have to give it as album art for this no we don't have to give it to start actually we have to write to end of and then the song name is visible and the text size i'm going to give it as 18 sp and then max line it will be one means it will not occupy more than one line when the sentence means the song name will be more than the text size that can be filled in this minimized player and layout to start off play pause mini player that's it and now we just have to copy this text view and paste it below and just rename its song name to song artist and also you can rename this to artist name and just going to remove this and also 16 sp text size then it will be layout below to the song name of mini player now you can see this the artist name also i'm going to give it 15 sp and now i think this minimized layout is looking good you can design it in your own way so now let's see again this i'm going to zoom in to show you the minimized layout you can see this this is the layout what we have created so far so now i'm going inside our now playing bottom java class and here we will initialize those image views that is the buttons for skip next and play pause so image view next button and album art which we have added as an image view in our fragment xml file and also we have to add text view means initialize artist name and song name and then the floating action button these are the things that we are initializing floating action button and uh, it will be play pause button then we will have to create also an instance of view 
this is creating because of we want to initialize the variables so just return this view and also view equals just paste the code that we have cut it now we have to initialize this artist name view dot find view by id and then just pass the id that we are given inside our xml file song artist mini player and just copy this line and paste it four more times to initialize all the things that is song name song name mini player and then album art album art bottom and then next button skip next button and also play pause button and here just write play pause mini player and that's it i think we have installed all the things that we have inside our xml file means our in our design part so now i'm going to just remove it as forward slash and we will start again means we are going inside our frame layout and here we will add a fragment which is having a width of match parent and height of wrap content and layout will be fragment now playing bottom that we have the layout xml file just we have designed here you can see the layout in the design part and we have closed the fragment already now you can see this code i'm going to start this app and see if it is showing inside our main activity or not so just run the app and here you can see this the app i think is crashed now so why it is happening let's see so just open the lock cat tab and here you can see this there is nothing to show and now i'm going to run the app again to see if there is a lock cat no there isn't any lock cat but the app is crashing here you can see this so just close the app now i think everything is fine over here what is happening don't know Or boss close the app so now let's try again to start the app and now if it will crash here you can see the lock cat error there are lots of errors and what it is saying is it is not able to set the content view so now i'm going to write name inside this fragment and here just written the not playing bottom java class here you can see this and now i'm going to run the app and see if it is working or not i think it should work fine now so just run the app and uh, wait for the launching and now this is launched and here you can see this the minimized player that we have designed here you can see this song name is here artist name album art and everything is looking fine now that's it for the tutorial